Hey guys, we're at the Breakthrough Prize Awards Talking Science with Celebs. Take a look. This event is seen in over 50 countries around the world and I think the organizers want people in faraway lands to wake up and see that science is being uh, rewarded and that it's cool and that they think the scientists of tomorrow may be out there somewhere seeing the show tonight. These are the unsung heroes. We, we you know, us actors get a lot of the, the adoration and the, the credit being on screen but, you know, to be here you know, tipping our hats off to the people that have really shaped society and saved lives uh, is, is a real big deal. Really big deal, so amazing. What area of science are you most interested in? Uh, well, right now I'm here for two films. My latest is one called Lion, and it's, it's actually a big component of that is Google Earth and how this, this boy found his, his birth mother, which he was torn away from in India, using this, this app that had just come out, which is now, you know, a, a mainstay. But uh, you know, it's great to be here and meet some of the Google guys. Absolutely. What area of science are you most interested in? Um, that's a great question. Well, Space exploration, cures for certain health. I mean, it depends what day you ask me. <laughs> if, if my mom is, is um, you know, going for chemo treatment, who gives a shit about space exploration? <laughs> you know, you, you immediately go to science as medicine. Uh, the dreamer in me, the kid in me, um, that, that kid that searched for escapism through fantasy and, and science fiction, I can't tell you how valuable that was for me in my life. So sp space exploration plays into all of that. I, when you create, you know, um, you know, science trilogies like, sci-fi trilogies like Chronicles of Riddick, you live in that space. Uh, and I don't know if, if it would be fair to uh, compare one against the other. I think all of the breakthroughs that, that we can encourage are, are valuable. It's the synergy of life and, and I, I think that the very idea of a scientist applying themselves and dedicating themselves or towards a breakthrough that could better mankind is a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I loved you in The Man Who Knew Infinity. How profoundly did making that film have an impact on you? Well, it introduced me to pure mathematics, which I was not aware of. For me, I was not a good math student, and uh, I'm not a scientist by nature. And so reading uh, some of G.H. Hardy's work, a great Cambridge mathematician, and, and realizing that, that actually pure maths is quite like art, quite like poetry. Um, it's not just one and one make two. And, and that opened up a, 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 a new perception for me of science and mathematics. So meeting some of these people tonight, um, uh, will be, I'm very excited about it. Uh, well, I think tonight is really important for the world, uh, not more so than for me. And it's because it's a chance to recognize the scientists that are really developing the theories and building the work upon which we will build the future. I have about 420 kids in the ghetto that I'm from that have disciplined themselves to take computer science and robotics courses and GIS classes. And they've done it because, you know, I did a really good job selling them 
this idea that they could be a part of the conversation and solve problems. No one is taking the time to, you know, to go into the inner city in a way to where a, a kid decides to do that, given all the other things that they have offered for them, whether it's crime, sports, drugs, everything a kid faces in the inner city every single day. So for these kids to, you know, join my program, 420 of them, um, being here shows them that, you know, I'm gonna out there trying to find more, you know, skills for them, more more tools for them to learn. Um, yeah, so I'm glad that this event is happening um, because it, it's gonna help me with the work that we're doing in, in the inner city. And when we scale it, um, you know, we already have a robotics team in in uh, Ferguson. And we're doing the same thing in Watts. I'm from East Los Angeles. The name of the program is I Am College Track. I work with Lorraine Powell Jobs and Dean Kamen. Those are my partners, as well as Jack Dangerman. So I have great partners um, in the efforts to get these kids up to speed to um, not only fill jobs, but create jobs tomorrow. Kids are natural scientists, right? Because they pick up the bugs, the snails, all the things under the grass trying to figure out what it is. And what we have to understand is that science is a part of our life, technology is a part of our life, and no matter what we do, it's going to be there. But even more importantly, we all have an opportunity to decide what we do with that knowledge. And so it's really important that people are comfortable uh, since I left the astronaut program, I've worked a lot on science literacy, which is the ability of people to read an article in the newspaper about a topic and figure out how to vote on it, about us being able to figure out how to make nutritious meals. All of those things are part of science, to be able to think our way through the day. So the big deal about this now is that as we get more talent involved with science, as we get more women and girls and people of color involved, underrepresented folks involved, then all of a sudden we have this incredible perspective to bring to bear. This perspective that allows us to apply the full range of human knowledge and experience to solve problems and understand where we're going. I've always been in love with science really and when I heard about this contest I thought that this could be a good chance to, to teach other people because I also love to teach and suddenly I'm here and I think that this prize is not only good for the money but also because it teaches older students that if they want something and they dream about it, they, their dreams can become real. The vast majority of folks are nerds, they're not athletes and yet we idolize people will never be uh, when more of us are frankly um, the people in the shadows that are just looking for a little bit of attention, a little recognition, a little bit of respect. So that's really the spirit. Uh, it's, it's celebrating, uh, frankly, a lot of forgotten folks uh, that are the quote unquote intel inside uh, the, uh, the remarkable advances we're all experiencing and enjoying in life.